He's trying to intimidate us as God's people. He's trying to intimidate us and make us fearful. But the devil's a liar. He's a liar and the truth of God is not in him, my brother. Hey, I'm halfway done. You just don't know it. Praise God. Don't take God long to do a good work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, can, I, can I teach it uh, just a few minutes before I preach before we, before we get on the train, on that midnight train to Georgia? Yeah, understand here, at one level, fear is healthy. Yes. Come on. Can I say that real eloquently? At one level, fear is healthy. Fear mm -hmm, is an emotion it induced by a perceived threat. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. right. What did the preacher say? Rewind back up and come back forward. At one level, fear is healthy. Fear is an emotion induced by a perceived threat. Fear is a natural human emotion. It is God given. It is a basic survival mechanism. Fear keeps us alive. It protects us from danger. Yes. F E A R. However, you notice I was talking about the good fear. Somebody say the good fear. The good fear. However, comma. On the other hand, there is also such a thing as unhealthy fear. The Greek word, I did my homework. I investigated the word and the word and, and the text. Can I tell you what I found out? Come on, Pastor. In my research and studying, as Paul told Timothy, the Greek word commonly used in the New Testament for fear is phobos. Somebody say phobos. phobos. From which we get the word phobia. Somebody say phobia. So we have phobos, which we get the English word phobia. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ooh, this is, of course, unhealthy fear. It is, amen, a danger. In other words, you've heard it before. It is false evidence appearing real. Uh -huh. yeah. The enemy, amen, try to make us see what's not really there. Right. He tried to convince us, praise God, to believe what's not there. Glory to God. Amen. Come on now. Amen. And so therefore, what happens, praise God, sometimes we overestimate the danger of fear and underestimate our ability, amen, to stand and cope. Yes. Come on. Can I teach you just a few more minutes? In, oh, glory to God. In my own life. See, it's one thing to talk about what Abraham said about his life and what Moses said about his life and what Paul said about his life. But there's going to come a time, let me help you understand, that you're going to have to be able to say something to somebody else about your own life. Uh -huh, uh -huh. See, in this, in, on this end of the age, when we're dealing with people and trying to win people to the kingdom, glory to God. Amen. At my God, they said, yes, I understand. Hey, praise, I understand, praise God. Amen. What Gideon went through. I understand, my God, what John the Baptist went through. Good God. But I want to know, what have you gone through? What have you faced? What, my God, what have you dealt with? In my own life, people of God, I have experienced, amen, many, amen, and, and many fears. There's been times I have feared, amen, had fear of heights. I have, amen, I haven't always been where I am tonight, where I could stand up here boldly without nervousness, amen, and preach the gospel. There was a time when I was growing and learning and going through my development, amen, I was shaking in my legs. <laughs> Trying to hide it from the saints. My big toe, oh my glory, God, feel like it's going to fall off. Because I'm saying, Lord, these folks in here are looking at me and all of them smiling. Lord, I, I, I can't get an amen. Maybe, maybe I'm not coming with the word the way they want me to come with it. Amen. So, so amen. The enemy was trying to perplex me. Amen. With, the, amen. with that fear. Some of us, glory to God, amen. We have fear of flying. We have fear, glory to God, of snakes and spiders, glory to God. Some of glory to God. Come on now. Amen. They, amen. Praise God. Also, I found out, praise God, amen, that this, this fear, praise God, enters us to a word called FOMO. F O M O. 
FOMO. What is that? F-O-M-O, FOMO. Let me make it simple. The fear of missing out. The fear of not being special. In 